In the Middle East, when we're looking at trends, I think one that is key is the sugar, the sugar content of products. This is a big one because of obviously of legislations that are coming into play, uh, but also because of the, of the health concerns. And I think health is that overarching trend. We can then break it down into different, into different angles. More protein-based products, the fiber enrichment, sugar reduction. Also a lot of uh, interest coming in for reducing salt, uh, trans-free fat. We are showing some innovations with regards to non-trans approach in the market, which is an upcoming uh, trend, especially in the Saudi Arabia market, which is the biggest one, and they are the pioneers, so other players are following them in terms of regulations and we, our solutions are uh, keeping the same functionality but without trans fatty acid inclusion. Also uh, we are having some low saturated fatty acid solutions which is good for the cardiovascular health. On the other hand we see also that indulgence is increasing, moving back to uh, more luxury fats, butter oil, driven products but also topping bases which give a better performance, less price driven, much more concept driven and that gives us a lot of opportunities in this market. On one hand we're seeing that the region is moving towards healthier taste preferences, consumers are very conscientious of what's on labels, social media disseminate information about food products. At the same time this is a region which is very indulgent, consumers have been spoiled for choice and this is quite difficult to balance from both a marketing and a technical perspective but it's a challenge that we are taking on at FSL. Um, we have found ways to actually create delicious products which you would have as a dessert and actually make them extremely healthy with fiber and protein uh, and, and minerals and vitamins uh, and healthy fats as opposed to the unhealthy fats. We're doing that also in the area of beverages, we're doing that in the area of plant-based proteins. Vegan and vegetarianism is something which is growing. A lot of interest in plant-based drinks and meat analogues. We can provide solutions to those um, applications as well. The vegan and uh, its uh, animal welfare uh, issues and uh, we see some of those trends uh, coming back here. We know that we're in a cost, let's say, competitive market. However, there is this niche and there is this niche is becoming bigger and bigger around this health concern. So anything that you can say is fortified. So we can talk about here higher protein content, we can talk about fiber content. So again, linking to you know, either digestive health, immune health, brain health, heart health, anything that brings an additional value to the final product is something that consumers are more and more looking forward to. We are seeing more and more products which are fortified with some of the vitamins, essential minerals, you know, which are lacking in this region. So example, vitamin D. Our region is full of sun, but still we are seeing that people are having a deficiency of vitamin D. The product fortified with certain vitamins, windows are ongoing. The big players in the market, I think they feel more responsible to the world because the population is getting higher but we have only one planet. Therefore, they are keen on sustainability and as AAK, we are one of the uh, formers of RSPO, Roundtable Sustainable Palm Oil. The clean label continues to be strong. Uh, people want to have uh, clean label declared ingredients. Uh, ideally food ingredients as opposed to food additives. We are seeing already that uh, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait are replacing synthetic colors with natural colors. So there's a great opportunity for us. We are seeing these trends coming to, to the Middle East area. I think in the future uh, it will be uh, similar to the European market. This is the role that we play as FSL to bridge that information gap that occurred between what's happening in local markets and what's happening with global trends.